this out. We're at the Union City Dam. This is the holding water side. You see all the riprap they have. In case she gets full, then you're not having the waves beat up the dam and start eroding it. Let's take a walk around, show you the massive spillway in case there's too much water and how big this really is. It's a pretty cool place. Hold on, let's head down that path. We are down the path a little bit. You see, it's a pretty big area they got water backed up into. Very cool. And then right in front of us, that whole area, well, there's actually a little trench that comes through. Slow down, don't get you dizzy. Goes into that cement area. That's the start of the spillway. And then if it gets too full, or too much water, you know, this whole area would flood out and go out the spillway. Let's walk around the corner and take another look. Okay, this is really high. Um, <laughs> we saw, I don't know if we're going to focus through the fence or not. Let's see if we can just sneak up to the edge and go through it. That's kind of funky. Anyways, over there is that little slot through there where that trench was. And then the whole area will, the whole area that could flood out and come into the spillway, which is enormous. But it's all cemented so that you don't get any uh, erosion. I've seen some uh, comes around a bend that hits these uh, cement bunkers. We'll see those in action in a little bit. And then it travels on around. Down and out to the river or stream where they cut it loose into and control the waters that enter. Let's go take another look. to think about when you're swimming in your own pond with your overflow pipe which is be hard to figure this out I think it's right it's right out there somewhere because it's underwater and there's just a little swirl but you get all that water that's up over top the pipe going down through the pipe under the dam and out the overflow side so as you can see you can't see the pipe but we zoom over here and that's the corner that little ditch area where we head out to the spillway and it looks like it kind of goes back in there but we saw from the spillway it's not overflowing enough or the lake's not that full to be going out the spillway the overflow pipes handling it so far so it actually looks like there's two. I can see two swirls out there. The one little one closer to us is a lot smaller than the furthest one. And they gotta be pretty decent sized pipes. And we'll run over to the other side of the dam and look at the spillway. So we'll just zoom back out. Here's all the rip wrap on the dam side, water side. Decent road, wind. Grass on the outflow side, so we don't get erosion. And then there's the what's coming out of the the pond area side, lake area, out through the outflow pipe. And it's coming pretty good, so it's not like no little eight inch pipe. Controlled cement barrier, rocks, all to keep the erosion down as the water exits the pond area or lake. And we go out a little further, and that bank over there you see that would be the exit for the 
overflow, emergency stowaway area. So that's Union City Dam, and the dam's pretty big, as you can see. Army Corps of Engineers built it. And it goes way back there. That's it for now. Unless we run into something else. We'll catch you later. Just another idea of how a dam's built. And here's another idea. You see the logs? The water was a lot higher, so I bet it was going out the spillway at some point in time ago. Cool. I'll have to check that sometime.